मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी माय नेम इज यप नरसिंह राव लेक्चरर इन फिजिक्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल साई दिनेश एन एम टूडे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग बैलिस्टिक पेंडोलम रिगार्डिंग द वर्क पावर एनर्जी चैप्टर क्लास इलेवन बैलिस्टिक पेंडोलम मींस इट इज ए डिवाइस used to measure the velocity of the fast moving projectile like bullet of the gun velocity of the bullet by using the ballistic pendulum we can find the velocity of fast moving bullet fired from the gun ballistic pendulum is a device which is a consisting of a wooden block of mass capital m is suspended by the light strings attached to the rigid support now our police people firing the bullet firing the bullet bullet is moving now in our cinemas us villains are firing the bullets on hero hero is standing in front of the villain hey, fight please carry up fight now at the time our villain is firing the bullet now this when the bullet is moving a fast moving bullet we can calculate the velocity of the bullet by using this ballistic pendulum let us consider a bullet which is fired from the gun which is fired from the gun now its mass is a small here when we are firing the gun, when we are firing now bullet is fast when the bullet is moving very fast initial velocity of the bullet is a small u small m is the mass of the bullet small u is the initial velocity of the bullet initially this wooden block is in the rest position its initial velocity is zero when bullet strikes the wooden block when bullet strikes the wooden block bullet is penetrated bullet is penetrated inside this wooden block after striking this wooden block but this bullet penetrates embedded inside embedded into the wooden block staying inside after firing after striking the bullet is embedded into the wooden block this bullet and the wooden block both are moving combinedly both are moving combinedly with a common velocity capital v now ballistic pendulum it is one application of the law of conservation of linear momentum law of conservation of energy now we will apply the law of conservation of momentum for this ballistic pendulum according to according to according to law of conservation of according to law of conservation of linear momentum linear momentum now please listen law of conservation of energy means energy remains constant law of conservation of momentum means momentum remains constant total momentum before firing is equals to total momentum after firing according to the law of conservation of linear momentum total momentum total momentum before firing is equals to before firing is equals to total momentum total momentum after firing
total momentum before firing before total momentum means what momentum of the bullet plus momentum of the wooden block momentum of the bullet momentum of the bullet momentum means mass into velocity momentum of the bullet momentum means mass into velocity mass is small u velocity is u momentum mass into velocity momentum mass into velocity small m into small u it is the momentum of the bullet total momentum momentum of the bullet plus momentum of the block now here now this block is in the rest position its initial velocity is zero initially the wooden block is in rest position rest position means its initial velocity zero now please listen total momentum means momentum of the bullet plus momentum of the wooden block mass into velocity mass into velocity capital m into capital u capital m into capital u is equals to total momentum after firing after firing both the members are combinedly traveling bullet bullet is penetrated into my body when i am running when i when i am running along with me bullet also running this is the bullet bullet is penetrated into my my body when i am running along with me bullet also moving me and bullet both are having same velocity here also this bullet and black both are having same velocity after firing when bullet is get embedded into the wooden block now it is staying inside only this bullet and this wooden block both are moving with same velocity that you are calling as common velocity total momentum after firing after firing means this one momentum mass into velocity momentum mass into velocity mass means you have to take both of the masses mass of the bullet plus mass of the block momentum means mass into velocity small m plus capital m velocity both are moving with same velocity capital v capital v is the common velocity of bullet and this block now small m u plus capital m into capital u means initial velocity of the block this wooden block initially at rest initially at rest means initial velocity zero capital u is equal to zero it is the initial velocity of the wooden block small m plus capital m into capital v capital v is the common velocity of bullet and the black small m u zero and anything zero zero and anything zero that is equals to small m plus capital m into capital v now m into u m u that is equals to small m plus capital m into capital v capital v is the common velocity of bullet and block system this now small this box comes to denominator this box comes to denominator small m u by box comes to denominator that is equals to capital v now capital v represents the common velocity common velocity common velocity of bullet plus black wooden black system this is the common velocity of bullet and black system to the law of conservation of energy its meaning is energy remains constant total kinetic energy at this point is equals to total potential energy at this point the reason is here when bullet strikes the wooden block both are moving both are having velocity velocity means the system is having kinetic energy when the bullet strikes the wooden block this wooden block and this bullet both are rising to such a height height means it is having potential energy at this point at this moment when bullet strikes the wooden block 
This bullet and wood and black both are moving. Moving means velocity. Velocity means this system is having kinetic energy. When bullet strikes this wood and black, bullet get embedded inside and bullet and this black rises to certain height. Due to height, the system is having potential energy. Total kinetic energy at this point is equal to total potential energy at this point. Total kinetic energy. Total kinetic energy at this point is equal to total potential energy at this point. Total, total kinetic energy at the bottom is equal to total potential energy at the top. Now please listen. Here. When bullet strikes this wood and black, bullet get embedded inside, both are moving. You have to take both the masses, both the masses. Kinetic energy formula half into mass into velocity square. Velocity square. Potential energy formula mass into g into height. Now half into mass here bullet when when the bullet strikes the wooden black bullet get embedded inside mass means you have to take mass of the bullet and the mass of the wooden black mass means mass of the bullet plus mass of the wooden black velocity velocity is capital v both are having same velocity square is square mass now it rises to certain height mass means small m plus capital m Small m plus capital M, g acceleration due to gravity height, it rises to certain height, height means h. Here, small m plus capital M cancelled, small m by 2 goes to numerator, 2 goes to numerator, capital V square is equal to 2 into gh, capital V is equal to under root of to G H. Now please listen. Capital V represents the common velocity of bullet and black system. H represents the height rise to the height to which the total system rises. Total system rises. Now please listen here. Now from equations 1 and 2. Here capital V. Combined velocity of bullet and black system. Here capital V. Combined velocity of bullet and black system. Both are equal. LHS are equal. Then RHS also equal. From. From. Equations. 1 and 2. From equations 1 and 2. MU by M plus capital M is equal to. Small m u by small m plus capital M is equal to, is equal to under root of 2 g h. Under root of 2 g h. Now, by using this pendulum, we are finding the velocity of the bullet. That is u. That is u. We have to find u. We need a small u. This box goes to numerator. This box goes to numerator. Small u is equal to under root of 2 g h. Small m plus capital M goes to numerator. By 
small m comes to denominator small m comes to denominator this is the formula of velocity of the bullet this is the formula for velocity of bullet by using this ballistic pendulum we are finding the fast move velocity of the fast moving bullet now by using this formula we can find the velocity of the fast moving bullet suppose suppose now when the bullet is fired bullet strikes the black this bullet embedded bullet is embedded inside the black and it rises to certain height this what you are calling as a ballistic pendulum is uh, this a thread of the ballistic pendulum now this what you are calling as string of the ballistic pendulum is uh, making an angle theta with the vertical with the vertical then what is the formula for the velocity of the bullet now here you see now if the if the string if the string of the pendulum if the string of the pendulum makes an angle theta an angle theta with the vertical with the vertical with the vertical with the vertical then then this formula becomes small u is equals to under root of 2 g h h means we are having one formula h is equals to l into 1 minus cos theta this i will derive at the last h is equals to l into 1 minus cos theta h h means h means L into one minus cos theta by small m into small m plus capital M small m plus capital M. In the by using this formula, we can find the velocity of the fast moving projectile, where L is the length of this ballistic pendulum. L is the length of the ballistic pendulum. Now. Here theta is the angle made by the string of the pendulum with the vertical. Small m represents the mass of the bullet. Capital M represents the mass of the wooden block. Now, I will explain how this formula came. H is equals to L into one minus cos theta. Initially, the pen wooden block is here. When bullet strikes, the wooden block rises to the certain height. Second height, that the height is a small h. Initially, wooden block is here. When bullet strikes, bullet and wooden block rises to here, and it rises. This system rises to certain height. Now, total it is the length of the pendulum. Total length is here. Total length. Total length is here. Total length is here. It is a height. This height is equal to this height. A B height. A B is equal. This is a height H. It is also A B also is equal to H. Total is L. It is a H. Remaining is L minus H. Remaining is L minus H. Now please listen. O B C is a right angle triangle. Triangle O B C is. Right angled triangle. Right angled triangle. I am taking cos theta. Cos theta means what? Adjacent side by hypotenuse. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. Cos theta is equals to theta the adjacent side. Theta the adjacent side. O B. Hypotenuse. O C O C cos theta is equal to O B O B is nothing but L minus H O C O C is nothing but length of the pendulum L length of the pendulum L 
L Gostin Yuma Rector. L Gostin Yuma Rector. L Gostin Yuma Rector. L Gostin Yuma Rector. L cos theta is equal to. L cos theta is equal to small L minus H. H comes to this side. Minus H comes to this side. Plus H. That is equal to L. Plus L cos theta comes to this side. Minus L cos theta. H is equal to L common. L common means no one is there. One. L common cos theta. H is equal to L into 1 minus cos theta. Here H. H means L into 1 minus cos theta. By using this formula, we can calculate the velocity of the fast moving bullet or fast moving projectile. Thank you.